Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a pretty big Wednesday today of content in FIFA 22. There is a lot going on with the market, with leaks, with new potential promo, road to the final cards moving crazily in price because of Atletico Madrid, more games today in the UCL. There's a lot to talk about today, but the headlining thing and the headlining topic for today is the potential 94 rated player of the month, Kylian Mbappe SBC that should be coming out in the next couple of days. So we're going to talk about that today. We talked about it last week, but it's now confirmed and leaked that he has one. So we'll talk about the price, how it could affect the market, how it already has affected the market. And of course, speaking with the market, a lot of foot birthdays dropped yesterday because of that UEFA marquee matchups SBC bringing supply to the game. We'll talk about today on Wednesday how they could continue dropping if EA run lightning rounds. It happened last week. It could happen again this week as well. So if you're excited for the video today, make sure to thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's get right down to business. Player of the month, Kylian Mbappe. This is the leak. Now, here's the thing with leaks for player of the month, right? It's not really in question. He has won. This is a leak, but it's basically confirmed because a player of the month winner it's not like it's a regular SBC that EA is in control of putting out. Like a player of the month is voted on by the league, by the fans. Like this is coming, right? This isn't just a leak. It's basically confirmed. The only question we have is now is when are we going to see it in the game? Most likely it could come on Thursday. It could come between today, Wednesday, and Friday, I really think. But the Ben Yedder SBC expires on Thursday. And most often, the League One Player of the Month get released on Thursdays in general. So tomorrow could be a big Mbappe day with this SBC being dropped. We do expect it to be 94 rated. That would be a plus one over his most recent inform, the 93. It will not upgrade the headliner card, but... It will be a new card that a lot of people will try to go out and craft because this SBC will be live for most likely 20 to 30 days throughout the whole month. Um, you know, player of the month, right? It's out for a month. So a lot of these Mbappe cards have dropped off already as people have seen this leak and they're selling these cards because they're like, oh my goodness, uh, there's going to be a SBC for Mbappe and I'm going to be able to complete his card and have a better version than all the most of the other versions that people use on this game right now besides the headliner and the team of the year. But this has caused a lot of panic selling. Check, take a look at Gold Mbappe from 560k down to 450. He dropped 100,000 coins. He's rebounded back up just to around 500k where if you if you bought in this in this drop same thing with some of the informs if you bought with this drop off I would go ahead and take the cash that would be the, my safe advice to you if you bought when he dropped down because I think when this SBC does come out you're going to see some more people panic selling more selling on the informs on the gold card because people don't mess around when they see an SBC like this. When you can go and claim this card and not have to spend any coins, some people will sell their headliner version, which is better. And maybe some people even sell, the team of the year dropped yesterday. Can we look at this for a second? The best version of Mbappe on the game went from 5.4 down to 5 million coins and is only now back to 5.2. Yes, a 97 rated Mbappe. People were selling this yesterday because of this leak. How crazy is that, right? But the just the ability to have a card like this untradeable in your team that doesn't lose coins in value when you do the SBC that's out for so long that you can craft bit by bit every week or so if you want to take the long route, since it'll be available for so long, that's why there's hype for an SBC like this. Now, what's the price going to be? Well, we still think that EA is not going to cut us any shortcuts with this card. Probably going to end up being somewhere around 2.5 five to three million coins since this inform before the crash was still about two million coins of value i think that 94 mbappe is going to be two and a half to three mil and i do think that it'll make fodder rise a little bit but it's not going to make fodder spike because this isn't an sbc that you're going to be able to do all in one sitting at least most people won't be able to right it's going to take them a few days maybe a week or so doing upgrade packs and picks we, it does help that we get the milestone rewards this Thursday with the season ending. So a lot of people will have some extra packs and some rewards tomorrow at their supply in the club. 
when this SBC would potentially get released. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Mbappe. Again, fodder right now, if you want to stock it, again, as I mentioned, we might have lightning rounds today on Wednesday. That happened last week. So maybe if you see fodder drop a little bit today on Wednesday, maybe into tomorrow with Thursday, could be an opportunity to snag a few of these cards, put something in the club. If you really look to do this Mbappe SBC pronto, after it is released so that's kind of all we're talking about with this mbappe today expected tomorrow that is my opinion with this card on the game now i, I actually bought a couple of the mbappes yesterday um i bought some mbappes at like 470 and he did rebound back up i sold them just a minute ago at 500k and mbappe right now is around 505 506 so he has bounced back up if you bought any of these cards whether it was one of the informs or uh, the headliner or something like that, my recommendation to you would be take the cash because I think, again, when people see the Mbappe SBC released and if there's any crazy information about this brand new promo that is gonna be coming out maybe this Friday, uh, I think that could drop some of these prices again. If, if the SBC is crazily overpriced, you might see a few of these cards bounce back. Maybe the Mbappe Inform, the gold card, maybe the headliner or the team of the year. If it's like three and a half million coins plus, then I could see some a little bit of a rebound because that would be stupid expensive. But if it's anywhere under two and a half, 2.75 mil, I think people are going to see that and say, okay, it's decent value. I can get that done uh, over a week or two or three then you're going to see some of these cards drop down in price. That's my opinion. So we'll see what happens with that. Of course, that should be coming tomorrow. Uh, earliest potential is today, though. You never know. Maybe EA would drop it a day early. We could see that pretty soon. Now, also something we could see today is a loading screen. And that's what I want to talk about next. The potential for this next promo. I know that Foot Birthday has been a little bit lackluster in terms of the SBC content. We haven't had any party bags yet. As of right now when I'm recording this, we have no pack codes added. We have no hints or clues or anything related to a party bag that we were so hoping to see as a part of this foot birthday promo. It is not out at the moment. So we still hold on to a maybe little grasp of hope that we might see a party bag maybe tomorrow on Thursday uh, or something like that. But there is a new promo. And, we, you know, as I mentioned, we could hear some information about it today. Sometimes Wednesdays are loading screen days for brand new promos. Take a look at this. There is a new promo being added, Fantasy Foot Player, and Foot Sheriff says that he expects it to see. He expects to see it this Friday. So this could be our next promo, which he says is similar to the What If promo. If you guys remember that from last year, he said it's going to be a two-week promo uh, and that it's somewhat a, a new version of the What If promo. Now, last year, if you guys remember this promo, the What If promo was basically, they released just it's it felt like a filler promo between like february and team of the season right it feels like this might be just another two week promo to get us towards that almost team of the season time frame which believe it or not we are like a month and a week five five four weeks away from team of the season hype beginning um but the what if promo last year was live cards that didn't upgrade based on individual performance they upgraded based on team performance with goals or clean sheets attackers and midfielders if their club scored six goals in five matches, they got an upgrade. Defenders and goalkeepers, if their club kept one clean sheet over five matches, they got an upgrade. So the potential was for the upgrades to happen almost instantly. If you guys remember last year, like what if Mbabu got an insanely quick upgrade because Wolfsburg like kept a clean sheet the first weekend that that card was in packs. So these cards are cool because they're live and they upgrade and stuff like that. So that's all fun and games. But last year, the content was not that great. So that's why people don't have the best, I guess, memory of the what if promo. So evidently, that is what this promo could be kind of structured around. We'll see, right? Again, as I mentioned, it's not guaranteed that we'll get a loading screen today. But that's just be that'll be something that I'm watching for. Because on Wednesdays of a brand new promo, um, we often do see a loading screen. I think the foot birthday loading screen came on a Wednesday, either Wednesday or Thursday. If that promo is this Friday, we could be seeing a loading screen. So we'll probably talk about it more tomorrow if we have some more information, of course, to discuss, but that's all that we have right now. It looks like we are getting another promo or some sort of promo this weekend. They're not going to leave us hanging after two weeks of foot birthday. Now, speaking of the market, like we did earlier, Yesterday, we had the UEFA marquee matchups as expected. It was the same SBCs as leaked. There was a token inside of it. And the pack supply yesterday, and also the 85 plus times three, I, I can't forget about this SBC, right? I think the combination of that pack supply yesterday 
and this SBC, the 85 triple upgrade right here, which actually looks like it's going to be, we're going to be able to do this SBC again today. As you can see, it says repeatable zero times, but in 16 hours, which would turn out to be today, 6 p.m. UK time, we're going to be able to do the 85 plus triple upgrade again. And people are going to be able to turn in 84s, 85s, whatever. It was an 84 rated squad uh, with a team of the week and 70 chemistry. So not that bad for a gamble pack. People are going to do that 100% again today on Wednesday since that is going to be released. So I would watch out for that. But those co the combination of those two things that I just listed there really dropped some of the foot birthdays in price. I mean, Fakir was like 460,000 coins uh, yesterday before all that content dropped. And this guy was he's under 400K. I don't know if he is right now, but he was 390,000 coins during the Champions League game when they were going on yesterday. But a lot of these foot birthdays dropped in price. If we take a look at some of their prices around right now, Firmino was down in the one low 1.2 ranges. He's kind of slightly bounced back up. Danny Alves went from like 730K and he was 660 at one point. Look at this drop, 733 all the way down to 660. That's a pretty sizable drop on a card like this for, for being a higher value item that it is. Neuer was down at 100,000 coins flat. Again, we talked about the Fakir drop. So you just had a lot of su supply and just coins being taken off the market. So prices dropped, not even just on these cards yesterday, but prices dropped across the whole game. If you take a look at some other special cards, uh, Suarez is down at 840. He was 810 at one point. Di Lorenzo was down at like 55,000 coins. And even if you take a look at some of the older out of packs cards, these guys just continue to drop in value on a lot of these items because coins are being taken off the market when they drop SBCs like that. So since we're going to have that SBC again today, I would keep a close eye on um, what is going on there. Also, EA FIFA Direct just tweeted that impacted players have been messaged in game with their new player pick being available in the foot store. EA Sports. I was affected by the icon moments, uh, the mid prime player pick. Where, where's my, all right, I'm, oh, there it is. Thank you for your patience while the team worked through resolving a content issue that was impacting your account. Oh, we have granted you the correct content that can be claimed through the store. This compensation is what everybody was talking about. Beautiful. So I'm going to have a player pick here. Um, Actually, what I might do, I'm going to save that for the stream. Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to have to, you're, you're going to hate me for this, but if you want to watch me open that player pick, I'm going to save that for the Twitch live stream today on Wednesday, twitch.tv slash the foot account and cheeky plug. I am going to open that up. I want to open on stream though, because it'll be fun to do it live. So uh, I will see you there for that. We'll open it towards the beginning. Make sure you check that link. Anyways, back into the video. That's big news, right? People are going to be getting icons tonight. Uh, untradeable, unless there's something crazy going on with them that would make them tradable like before, but I doubt that would happen. Um, you know, I think EA would just be giving out untradeable icons, the mid prime player pick as expected, um, right there. So that's kind of big news actually, but more probably price drops on the foot birthday cards today. We were just in the store, right? Talking about lightning rounds, uh, last week on Wednesday and Thursday, they dropped lightning rounds on both days. I think they could do that again because EA just knows that uh, th this is one of the promos where they can get people to open packs for since they put some insane cards in packs. And since they did it last week and we had the insane lightning rounds this past weekend for Full Birthday Team 2, I think they'll do it again. So still, if you're looking to buy Full Birthday cards, we're putting that on pause still. Honestly, until we get more information about this promo, I'm pushing that off until like Thursday with, with the marquee matchup supply and maybe more lightning rounds and an Mbappe player of the month and maybe even till Friday with whatever this new promo is. So any of the Foot Birthday 2 cards that you might want for your team, I'm, I'm pushing that off again until later on this week. Now for the rest of content today on a Wednesday, we do have a brand new team of the week that features, that features a big player in headlining the team, Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Cristiano Ronaldo, Sui is gonna get an inform and it's gonna upgrade his ones to watch. And I think that you should sell that ones to watch Ronaldo if you have it. If you have that ones to watch Ronaldo, I would take the cash because I think it's up too high in value. Yes, his inform is gonna be 92 rated. Yes, it is gonna boost this uh, ones to watch card up. I mean, how is this card 1.4 million coins and the team of the group stage Ronaldo, which will probably have just about the same stats as the inform today is 990k. I don't I know it's a live item, but this card was 600,000 coins. 
I know he was so cheap because Ronaldo wasn't scoring and he had a hat trick against Tottenham and he deserves this inform. But I would sell this card because I think after the inform today, it is going to go down. That's just my opinion. I think the inform Ronaldo is probably going to be um, under a million coins since this 92 is there and more of a rare card. So it might not be under a million coins just yet unless they make it some sort of crazy. If they made a record breaker item um, for this Ronaldo, which I don't know if they're going to, but if they do, then uh, that would probably make him be a little more expensive just because the fact that record breakers are so much better than informs. But that's kind of my opinion on the Ronaldo. So if you're playing weekly this weekend, you got that 92 Ronaldo in reds that everybody's going to be shooting for and in team of the week packs. Uh, so today people are going to open their team of the week packs 100%. Whoever's in team of the week today, which I think there's a fair in Torres that's going to be in as well. Barcelona fans will be happy about that. Um, people are going to open their team of the week packs today with the potential of getting a Cristiano Ronaldo. So just be cognizant of that happening today. Now, elsewhere on the game today, we have more road to the finals in action. And I want to talk about this part of the market just a little bit too. I actually made some coins or, well, it's technically not a realized uh, gain yet because I have Marcus Urentes that I bought at 770,000 coins. And this guy is 800,000 coins because he is getting a plus two, right? So his card is up in price and it's probably going to rise a little bit more because of the potential S, uh, plus two that he is getting. And then Tellez's item is down bad. This guy was down at 130K. He started to rise back up a little bit, but people are dumping this card because it's no longer going to upgrade. And the exact opposite is happening for the Orente card. Now today with Chelsea and Lille and Juventus and Villarreal, two, two interesting games today because Kai Havertz and Chelsea, this card has a potential to get another plus one for moving on to the next round of the competition if Chelsea, they don't even have to win today and this card could get a plus one. It is if they move on and have the better score and win on aggregate, they will move on in the next round. This will get a plus one. Now, Renato Sanchez still has a small likelihood of getting himself an upgrade as well. You're like, what, Nate? You real? Yes, I'm for real. Because if Lille were to win the game today, but if Chelsea were still, um, basically, if Lille would win 1-0 or 2-1, because right now Chelsea is 2-0 up on aggregate. Um, if Lille win the game but don't win by enough to advance, then this Renato will get a plus one for the win, right? Because they have not won a game yet in the Champions League. So if they do somehow win today against Chelsea, this card will get a plus one. If they were somehow to beat Chelsea today on aggregate and win 3-0 and win 3-2 in aggregate and then move on to the next round and knock Chelsea out, this card will get a plus two. So not very likely, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, also a big potential plus two is on the line today for Quadrado. They are favored, of course, to beat Villarreal because right now that game is 1-1 aggregate. So if Juve were to win today, and of course, secure their spot in the next round, plus two for Quadrado, he would go to an 89 rated item. So that's the action that we have today in terms of the road to the finals. We don't have any Europa League games. It is just Champions League for today on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we'll have support Europa League and Conference League games with a few more cards in action there. Again, as I mentioned, we have no words yet on a party bag SBC. That was something I was hoping to cover tonight. And as of right now, we, we got nothing. We really have nothing about new pack code added, at least as I'm recording this video. I see nothing along the lines of that. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer, but I guess EA is going to drop this 85 plus times three again and make that doable another time. So that will be where our potential lies today for a gamble pack SBC. If you're trying to pack more of these foot birthday cards, this is going to be um, repeatable, I guess you could say, again today on Wednesday. We'll also probably get Silver Stars today. And uh, I believe we have a Kelleher that we'll be getting. The Liverpool goalkeeper is going to be our Silver Star item. I would imagine that of the three foot birthday swap tokens that we are yet to see, I think that one of them would come from Silver Stars today. And I also imagine they would drop the Foot 21 SBC today. And then tomorrow on Thursday, our last token would be available from marquee matchups after this one expires. So the last couple's tokens are going to be going live in the next two days here. I imagine that all tokens would be out by Thursday so that when Foot Birthday ends on Friday, uh, they, they won't be releasing any more tokens. That is just my opinion there. So 
it's kind of an interesting time on the game because we're going to have another gamble pack today. Ronaldo team of the week. Um, and a lot of curiosity about upcoming events. Again, with that player of the month, Mbappe, right there, ready for us. Hopefully tomorrow on um, Thursday. And then also, we should be having more information coming about a loading screen or about this new promo, whatever it's going to be. So if it's hype, we'll have to see. We'll probably talk a little bit more about that tomorrow on the YouTube channel channel. If you missed yesterday's double upload, by the way, if you're somebody who's trying to make some coins, I talked about some coin making methods in the current state of the market, stuff that you can do to make coins every single day. Uh, kind of like myself, trip, flipping a lot of the icons, flipping a lot of these special cards. I did sell Eto yesterday. So over a million coins of profit on this card. Definitely my biggest whip this year by far for one item. That was a huge W. Still have a couple icons uh, right now. I have a job that I'm trying to flip at the moment, trying to get that out still. Uh, but the coins have been made this week, right? We've been making a lot of coins and it's still a great time to trade, especially if you're trying to build that coin total up towards team this season. So check that video out if you think it would be of use to you. So I will see you guys on the Twitch stream today. I feel bad because I almost talked about opening that player pick and I didn't do it. So don't hate me too much, but come to the stream if you want to see it. Link down below. Of course, if you did enjoy the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.